All right, so we've had Snickers now for just over two months, and in that time, we've got a bit of a, a feeling for what it's like to own a, a retro classic. We haven't actually taken it out on any long trips yet. We're just uh, trying to get an idea of the bus in general, what we've bought, um, more importantly, what needs to be done on an essentials list and what needs to be done with the bus um, in the long run to turn it into an adventure camper. So we met up with Lee and his family, uh, the man behind Coombe Valley Campers back in the UK in August. And unfortunately we couldn't take Snickers because a few days before I'd realized that some of the fuel lines or actually the return lines on the, the diesel injectors were leaking pretty badly. Um, so I didn't want to risk taking it up into the, the mountains to the campsite that we'd had picked out. But it was great to meet up with those guys, have a look at his bus. It's a 82, I think it was, um, an 82 T3 that they've done a ton of work on. It's got loads of history um, for them as well. They've owned it for the best part of 10 years. So that was really cool. And he also managed to bring up some parts for us as well, which I'll, I'll show you in a bit. Um, overall, it's in really good shape, um, as you saw in the previous video that I did. So I started by taking out the, the middle seats. So we've got all this room here. So I believe it's just a few bolts holding this down. And oh, let me go get my socket set. I picked up this great deal on a used socket set in this small French market the other day that we just happened to uh, go on by. And this old man was selling a, a full socket set. He said that he had uh, bought it a long time ago to use on his car, but that's all behind him now. So it's just another nice thing to own alongside the old bus. Now I'm betting that the seat has never been taken out of this bus. From what we know about it, we are the, the third owners. Well, on the log papers for this van, it actually says it was owned by Seat in Barcelona. And we believe that it was probably used as like a VIP or, or transporter car for their offices in Barcelona. But the seller then reckons he bought it from a band in Barcelona. So whatever the story is, it's kind of funny either way. It's either a, a posh bus or a, or a rock bus. But I'm guessing that these seats have never been taken out before. So it'll be interesting to see A, how easy they come out and B, what the condition is underneath when uh, I lift this carpet. I'm quite excited. All right, I felt the weight of the bench completely together and I'm on my own this evening there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to lift that out. plan is to see if I can unbolt the backrest and the seat base from the actual metal base here which should alleviate a lot of the weight so I think that's what I'll tuck into. That's the first piece. Easy. It is absolutely huge in here. And that's pretty much all I've got time for now. It's pitch black and I'm ready to go home and get myself a beer and think about what we're gonna do on the bus next. Cool. We also mounted the new uh, rooftop tent from German manufacturer Tilhall. Now that is a really nice piece of equipment. I took it out a few weeks ago to shoot images for the uh, current issue of Adventure magazine. You know what, once in a while everything in life feels like it comes together quite nicely. fantastic morning, opened the curtains of the rooftop tent and just all these hot air balloons are rising out the field. So it was a really uh, special moment that I'm glad I caught on camera. So thanks to those guys anyway for sending out one of your rooftop tents. I will put a link to Till Hall in the description below. And it's just really nice gear. I knew that that tent would look just the business on this bus. So I'm really glad we've got, we've got one of those. 
today I think the first task that I want to get into is just cleaning the engine off because it's just totally full of 33 years of dirt. So to find out, um, there's definitely a couple of leaks in this thing. So yeah, really the plan is to scrub it all off, um, get it as clean as possible, and then just keep an eye on it over the next uh, few days, the next few drives to find out if we can uh, determine where a few of these uh, leaks might be coming from. So I've tried my hardest to ignore the cosmetic stuff, which is probably a bit more on the fun side of things to be able to uh, tuck into to do. I have spent quite a bit of time in the engine having a good look, ultimately learning what it's all about. Like I'm no, I'm no mechanic, I'm no car guy. So I'm actually learning on the go on this, uh, on this project. Yeah, just generally having a good look and I'm really happy to report that there's absolutely no rust on this thing. It's nice to know that the bus uh, actually has the ability to be around for a decent amount of time with us. The other day I managed to get the under tray off uh, for the engine and I was a little bit hesitant uh, jumping into that because I knew that that was going to unveil the, the curtain basically, show me what actually is going on back there. Who knows how long? Uh, some of that road muck has uh, been on there for. Underneath the engine, yeah, it's mucky. I think the majority of it is old oil. There must have been an old oil leak at some point. A lot of that has, yeah, it's pretty much dry. It's caked on stuff, but there is a few wet areas as well. So I say that we weren't looking at uh, the interior and the cosmetics too much, but there are a few things on the, on the list that I want to change pretty quickly. The... Uh, the winders on the doors are pretty, uh, they're pretty knackered. So it's no, at the moment they're all taped up. So we're just gonna replace those pretty quick. All of the, the remaining parts, like these um, parts of the seat belts, they're all still all of the original. They're undamaged, they're a little bit faded. So I'm not sure whether I want to try and use something like a heat gun to bring out the, the oils and the plastics again, um, but Pretty much if it's not broken, I'm not gonna replace it. I'm gonna keep this as original as possible. Unless it looks terrible, uh, like the rear view mirror, um, then we're gonna replace. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it, um, if not replace it. Our essentials list basically is to get the bus through, in Spain it's called the ITUV, so the ITV or the MOT or the vehicle safety test, whatever you call it in your country, um, which is coming up in just over a month. Um, we wanna, make sure that yeah the bus is roadworthy um so that we can continue our projects with it um so everything at the moment is all the essentials is coming under that um that's the brakes the wheels the seat belts um any warning lights that are coming up uh the jet washer on the front on the, i think it was the right hand side isn't working at the moment so i need to have a look into that um just a, a few pieces of maintenance i think just to get the bus up and running properly. I don't think that it's um, on our essentials list for the vehicle safety test, but one thing that I definitely want to change or have to change in this is all of the gear linkage. Reverse is horrible to get into. Uh, first and second are a little bit sticky and then everything beyond that is okay. And I did get under the vehicle the other day. Basically, there's, there's no bushings left. The bellows are all cracked or disappeared. Uh, there's absolutely no grease in the, the system whatsoever. So that whole thing just needs a complete um, restoration. So that pretty much wraps up where we're at with the bus. Um, yeah, it's just having had a good look over everything. Um, oh, and that reminds me. This is the artwork for the latest adventure magazine. I don't usually get the covers sent in uh, from the printer in this state. And I thought this was really cool to see you know, how the whole thing looks, uncut with the colour bars, just looks uh, fantastic. This magazine is by far my favourite adventure magazine that I've published. 
Uh, the last minute change actually I did, which sealed the the creative deal for me, was the, the highlight color. Each issue has a different kind of highlight color going on. And I changed to this nice uh, olive green right at the end. There's just so many great stories in this one. I love this piece with Sam Gosling. Uh, he's got the, the van on the cover of this issue. Um, Matt, who did the analog photography for the front, did a stellar job on that. Michael, who did some of the shots in central London with Sam. And some more like detail shots inside the vehicle. Uh, this was a really cool piece. Thanks to Jamie for submitting that anchored to a quest for balance. He works on cruise ships. He's got a van. He loves to travel with his girlfriend. There's a really nice piece about you know somebody who thought they had like a career path in mind and figured out but you know it doesn't mean it's not the be all and end all of everything some really nice pieces of gear in here i'm really loving this brand at the moment the james brand they produce some um really quality uh knife this is a nice piece the tire piece in this one um we've got bala on tour with their awesome mountain uh sprinter van conversion in here that's uh really nice detailed look at what's gone into that project again i feel that the bar the level of photography has just gone up that step again um right, look at this it's amazing some story of mine which is an advertorial co-branded piece with uh, night watches this is a field watch an automatic field watch i absolutely love it it kind of slipped into you know my lifestyle the how i want to live like just so perfectly so it's a really nice piece i teamed up with them uh, on this and it's got some photography from over the the years of what my fiance and i have been up to this is from lenny the overlander who have got this awesome land cruiser that's a really nice really nice article and i moved that right to the front that's like our first feature of this uh, this mag because it's just so so inspiring with uh, the photography and the way they've gone about things um, and yeah that's uh, it's just another awesome issue it's got a load of 35 millimeter photography in there um, that some I've shot and developed myself here at the mountain home but also yeah from people like Matt who have shot the cover uh, there's just a few of the older mags there so that's just a, a roundup of yeah the latest issue of adventure yeah and this is the amount of space that we've got now absolutely massive all right so i think that is about it uh, for this roundup on snickers i'm going to head back down into the town now grab a bit of lunch and then probably uh, dive back into cleaning the engine if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Adventure Magazine, then head on over to the website www.adventuremagazine.com and check out the latest issue of the magazine. And I will try and get some more video updates onto the YouTube as soon as possible. Alright, until then, see you on the road.